we have determined the model of Seed and Detrohen, the guy that essentially formed the Scarlet Crusade in the new 10.1.5 patch. There is an alternate storyline with the corrupted Ashbringer in the new patch as well. We have heavy hints of the Scarlet Monastery of old coming soon as a revamp dungeon. We have new Scarlet Crusade cosmetics. We have some changes to the files and the maps of the Scarlet Graveyard. While we know some of these are definitely related to the Halloween events, we still have those leaflets from a few years back that still haven't led anywhere and we know everything has changed since then. Kalia is on the throne, Anduin is no longer ruling, Sylvanas is gone, Gen may be close to the Soren Gilneas, even more importantly Tyrellian, a guy super close to the Scarlet Crusade is currently ruling the alliance that is also of Lord Ron ability. So what is all this new data mine information and could we be seeing the actual return of the Scarlet Crusade quite soon? If you guys want to buy Total War, Elder Scrolls or any other game, you can get them at great prices with my Gamevo link. You can also get anything Warcraft related, gift cards and software and all below market prices. Best of all, if you add my code DORON, you can get an even bigger discount. So make sure to check out my link in the description and get some amazing deals with Gamevo. I'm not sure how many of you remember the Scarlet Crusade leaflets that came around a few years back and they essentially led nowhere and it wasn't even related to the relevant storyline, Blizzard just decided to just drop them out of the blue. But in my opinion, I think that might have actually been a setup for something that we could be seeing soon and we actually have a bunch of not only new hints but data mined maps, items, characters and just story progressions that are currently super closely related to this faction. The Scarlet Crusade itself is is really a super strange faction. I mean, they're one of the most evil people that we have in the game, but at the same time, they're also one of the most righteous. When you think about it, their original goals are really as noble as you can get. All they literally wanted to do was to get rid of the undead and to defend their homeland. Now, I know the undead are now a regular lace, they're playable, so everyone is tolerant, but keep in mind when this happened with Lord Ron, no one knew undead were even a thing, and these were people that literally burned their kingdom to the ground and destroyed their families, and some of them were even their families, so to them it was just this super unholy thing. So it started with noble goals, but when combined with fanaticism and most importantly dreadlord interference, they just descended into a cult-like fashion that they became just as bad as the undead, and on some occasions even worse. Now, a few years back, we got a bunch of these leaflets just out of nowhere where they talked about how much they hate Anduin, how he's a puppet king, how they plan to leverage Gen Greyman and his disdain for Savannah in order to infiltrate the alliance and free Lord Ron and restore it, even though they also hate the Worgen as well. Most importantly, they claim to hate everything about undead Kalia Manatil, but they have her son that she had with an Arati nobleman and that he is a legit heir to the throne of Lord Ron, which hinted at a new kingdom of Lordran being established after the Forsaken are removed. Now, well, this could have and probably was just random propaganda to destabilize the alliance, there might have been some grain of truth here and now with recent data mined info, something may actually be happening with the storyline, they could actually be picking up this Scarlet Crusade storyline from those leaflets. As you may know, things have changed since then significantly and I mean significantly. The king they hated and Sylvanas are both gone, now Tyrellian is the leader of the alliance who in my opinion is closer to them than to the alliance itself and a lot of the other races. When you think about it, Tyrellian is a lord or a nobleman, he's also kind of fanatical about the light, I mean he's the leader of the army of the light, and they also care about the light themselves. Most importantly, he was an actual knight of the Silver Hand, one of the original ones. Keep in mind, the Scarlet Crusade is literally the offshoot of the Silver Hand, and many of these paladins formed the resistance, even though there was later on an ideological split. However, if there was an alternate timeline, who knows, we may be even be able to see it, if Tyrellian was around, he would have more than likely been a part of the Scarlet Crusade, at least to a certain stage. Second is that Kalia Manatil came to rule the Forsaken at the end of Shadowlands and she seems to be working with Gan Greyman to help him restore Gilneas and Blizzard hinted at a possible restoration of Gilneas as a kingdom in the near future at the end of Shadowlands. The Scarlet Crusade itself has been completely and utterly demolished. I feel like their numbers are just super low at this point and they have not only just lost their leadership time and time again but pretty much the entire structure and everything they had ever set out to do failed. However, 
However, they without a doubt still exist, otherwise these leaflets and plants would not have come to light, so there is still a group, like there is the Scarred Crusade that remains, we just don't really know how influential they are. Well, since those leaflets, and even early as a few days back, a bunch of new things happen, and we have actually data mined a lot of new information that could be relevant to this. First of all, a few months back we got the Scarlet Crusade cosmetics with the trading post, such as the shield, however, you know, obviously those are just cosmetics. We have also data mined not only changes to the Scarlet Monastery, the Scarlet Graveyard and the minimaps, but we have also data mined the model of Satan Datrohan himself in the most recent build, the guy that quite literally formed the Scarlet Crusade as he was possessed by the Dreadlords. Now, do not get your hopes immediately up too much, a lot of the Scarlet Crusade stuff seems to be related to the Headless Horseman and the Halloween, but definitely not all of it. We know Blizzard is revamping a lot of holiday stuff as we have new pumpkin models as well as a lot of New Year's models. There was the new Scarlet Graveyard with the new minimaps, more than likely related to this event. However, we also have heavy hints that the original Scarlet Monastery may be returning by the name of Scarlet Monastery of Old in 10.1.5. If you guys can follow the recent news, you know they already revamped some of the old instances. We know they revamped Zulgorob. Now they're working on revamping Classical Nextremis as well as Colomance. So Scarlet Monastery may be coming up in this bunch as well. However, I just feel like there are way too many of these little hints and storylines for them to not make something out of this. We legit have a model of Detrohan, which could be related to a new story, or it could also be related to the alternate stuff we don't really know at this stage. Now, we also kind of, out of the blue, have a storyline related to the Unclassed Ashbringer from the alternate timeline as well, and as you may know, the Scarlet Crusade is obviously quite related to the Ashbringer. Most importantly, if their story about an actual heir is true, big things could definitely be happening. Keep in mind, they say that the heir is of the Manatil and the Arati bloodline. The Arati bloodline is essentially Stromgard, which is a newly restored kingdom that was recently reconquered by the Alliance that we know was rebuilt 100%, and it is really only a matter of time before the city itself is added into the game as an actual playable city. It is also important to note that there was a five-year time skip, so more than five years had passed since these leaflets were written, and these Scout Crusaders might have doubled in numbers or just evolved in some way or just changed. My thoughts are we might be seeing the Scarlet Crusade rejoining the Alliance, the remnants of it, as they realize that Kalia is the rightful heir to the Manatil throne and that the Alliance itself is now led by Lord or Nobleman, which definitely goes in his favor in regards to the Scarlet Crusade. Keep in mind, a bunch of the Scarlet Crusade was wiped out, mostly the fanatical bunch, so we could be seeing the more righteous members, some people that were just led astray. It is possible that we could get a storyline with the restoration of the Scarlet Monastery and the Alliance getting yet another stronghold. Of course, it is definitely too early to say, but obviously something is going to be happening in this area, in this entire region. First of all, both factions have kind of united at this point and their relations are really better than ever. There are hints that the Forsaken plan to withdraw out of Gilneas, which signals the restoration of this kingdom. In the canon lore, Stromgard has already been rebuilt. It is an actual functioning Lion City, so we could also be seeing some of these remnants of the original defenders of Lordaeron, the Scarlet Crusade, getting a pardon and restoring either some part of the Plaguelands or the Scarlet Monastery itself. Furthermore, some people have speculated about Avalon and Avaloran. As you may know, New Avalon was a major settlement of the Scarlet Crusade, and now we have this potential new continent of Avaloran, this potential new zone from Dragonflight and all this new lore. However, personally, I do think this is really just a coincidence, just like a similar naming convention. I really can't see any type of relation between the Titan Forge rebels of Avaloran and the Scarlet Crusade and New Avalon. Of course, most of this is speculation, as we have a bunch of these hints just kind of thrown everywhere just all over the place, not really organized, but there just seems to be way too much activity around this part of the continent for nothing to end up happening. Thank you for watching, check out all the revamp hands by clicking on the screen and check out Ono's Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!